Perk Squad. I got my man Matt once again with an amazing opportunity. Listen, this is my guy. Whatever he says, I do. He is my financial coach. He has, in just a couple months, changed the trajectory of my financial future. And I am very, for, I'm forever indebted to him for it. And I definitely don't want to keep him all to myself. So he's going to be talking to you guys about an amazing real estate opportunity. Hey, what's up, Brick Squad? Good to see you guys again. Thanks so much for tuning in. And thanks for having a sponsor, guys. I mean, at the end of the day, we're here to try and help you guys up level in all areas of your life. So tune into our channel, VIP Financial Ed, for more information, all topics related to how you can get the best of the banks. But one of the playlists that we put together for you that we think we're most excited about right now is a way for you to make another 15 to 30K every single month. You can do it by just simply working tens of hours per week. So that might be 10, 20, or 30 hours each and every week. The more you put in, the more you get out. If you could add another $30,000 per month income stream, to your family's future, the question would be how much of an impact would that have on all areas of your life, right? How fast could we pay your debts off? How fast could we actually fund your kids' college uh, accounts? How fast could we over fund your retirement accounts? How fast could we buy real estate for rental properties? We're sitting in a rental property right now. Bricks and Cammy are out here for an entire week. We're hanging out, having a blast as usual. And guys, we can't wait for you guys to up-level your finances as well. So click the link for more information. Thanks, guys. So my kids are currently in Niagara Falls on their way to Canada. It's just stunting on me. <laughs> I hear that. Is that frozen? Yeah, frozen. That's the Niagara Falls. Wow. I want you guys to make sure that you're taking this all in. Like, really? Look at it and appreciate and, and marvel at it because this is a very big opportunity for you guys to experience this. Seriously, don't take it for granted. A few years back, my dad and I, we took them to Paris and to London. These are experiences that me, look, I'm getting goosebumps. These are experiences that when I was a kid only existed in, in books or on TV. And now my kids, my flesh and blood are traveling. They are traveling the globe. And this is such a blessing. And this, these are the little details. This may sound insignificant to you. But these are the little details about my life that just that just lights me up that just makes me feel overwhelmed with joy and blessings and gratitude because this is what it's about and this wasn't this would not be possible if it wasn't for certain things right a lot of us listen i've lived check to check before i'm over it i never want to go back to that lifestyle i never want to go back to working a job that i hate uh, and but this is a lot of people's reality but a big part of my mission and a big part of my message is to is to let you guys know that that does not have to be the case there's so many ways to make money and i know i've been talking about money a lot on this channel but when it comes to wellness when it comes to leveling up your life experience you cannot leave money out of that conversation this is about wellness complete wellness and in order to afford great quality food in order to be able to experience the things that make life rich you have to have money so i'm about to start putting you guys on with some side hustles i'm gonna, I'm gonna get some experts from different from different industries on the channel that's with that we're going to talk about some very real opportunities for you guys to make money straight up so stay tuned for that I got a lot of great things in the works. I actually signed up for Dan Locke's uh, high ticket closer program. So I've been doing online coaching now for three years, a little over three years. And my prices have been very low and affordable. And I want to continue to make coaching affordable. But what I've noticed is that when I, being that my prices are so affordable, I attract a lot of tire kickers. I attract people who I'm not going to talk down about them. They just aren't ready. So 
I, I want to restructure my coaching program. I want to make sure that I'm pairing myself with clients who are ready to make the sacrifices, who are ready to put in the work in order to change their bodies, in order to change their lives. That's I'm here to make impact. Yes, of course, I want to make money, but more importantly, I want to impact the lives of the people that I service. So I want to make sure that the people who I'm servicing are people who are serious because you have to be serious about this. Anyway, so I'm doing a high ticket closer program that Danlock offers. It's also going to be an opportunity for you guys possibly to, to make some money on the side to change your life, to change your financial situation if you're in a job that you don't like and i know that feeling nowadays that you don't have to deal with that shit anymore you don't there's literally tens of thousands of ways to make millions of dollars if you are one ready to put the work in two if you're ready to invest in the education in the in the guidance or the coaching whatever the case may be for the particular opportunity you have to be willing to invest right so I'm going to go through the program as a, as a few other side hustles that I, that I'm planning content around. So you guys stay tuned in for that. This is going to be some life changing stuff. I'm no longer, listen, I used to worry so much about making sure that I'm creating content that's going to get clicks. That's going to get views F that. And I'm not going to say the F word because my kids watch this and I probably cursed already, but F that I'm going to make content that I feel like is gonna make the most impact on my viewers' lives. The Brick Squad, I have some true Brick Squad members. Comment below if you've been a Brick Squad member for more than a year, I love you guys. And I'm gonna make content for you. I don't care, I'm gonna stop caring about the numbers because you know what, that doesn't matter. That doesn't move the needle. It's not, a, it's not about views, it's about connecting the people who are ready to make some change in their life with some information that can help them do that. And that's what I'm gonna do, straight up. Yes, I'm ready for this dinner. What are you listening to? It's soul music. Who is that? Molly music. Molly? Don't worry about it. I don't know. Pause it for a second. Let's show them what this dinner is looking like tonight. Hit the lights okay. for me, booby. They are on. They are? Oh my God. There's the hella dark in All right, that's better. We just need another light. Don't worry, we're moving soon. I, I can't wait to get we're a bigger kitchen. In. Anyway, so what do we have for dinner? Talk to me, Booby. What do we have? This is turkey. Okay. This is turkey spinach burger. And I sauteed onions and mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, well, I gotta get out the shadow so they can get a better shot. There we go. Mm. Um, so this is turkey burger, sauteed mushrooms, and, and red onions, onions. On top, and then I use this, um, like, laughing cow. It's a pretty good, pretty good macro type of cheese. M macro friendly cheese? It's a better macro friendly cheese, but it's got some fat stuff in it, but you don't eat fat during the day. So, moving on. Well, this is starting of a spinach salad. Doing a little Panera Caesar one this time. Caesar? I never, yeah. have I ever had that? No, but you're gonna love it. Okay, well, then, it's not focusing, but it's, all right. it's Caesar. I Panera bread Caesar. Garlic bread, but I used the, what do we use again? What kind of bread? This is um, Crap. Dave's Killer Dave's Bread. Dave's Killer Bread. I'm gonna put some spray butter on it. And I put garlic powder. So garlic, so this is just regular toast, Dave's yeah. Killer Bread with can I can't believe it's not butter spray and, and garlic, garlic powder and this is butternut squash soup yum so I'm about to crush this though have you been vlogging all day mm, I kind of was inspired no I was inspired Look. to vlog after I spoke to the kids and this is your sa leftover salmon that I cooked last night all right so this is just leftover salmon hey bravo your dinner oh, is not I'm as popping as mine your oh. dinner is whack bro he loves it. That he's kibble so, is whack, bro. I'm so glad he's home. The spinach choked me in the throat. I thought it was a knife. So I'm gonna do a taste test of everything. Okay, cool. Better not squash soup. Oh my god, that's so sexy. And and we didn't like pre-do this. This is his first time trying it. Whoa. Babe, you <laughs> 
I keep saying you need to do a cookbook, but you you really should. Yeah. And it's not it's not hard to prepare this stuff. She she makes very simple stuff, but she makes it taste really good and it's macro friendly. So this is the sauteed mushrooms, uh, mushrooms onions, and onions. Turkey and burger. Turkey burger. Take a small bite though. Small? Why? Oh my gosh. Mmm. How's that one? Because that's lean turkey. That's 94. Mm. Come on, hurry up. Try the other stuff. Hurry, the bread. All right, the bread. I mean, technically, I didn't make the bread. I just I just spread the butter on there and put the garlic on it. Listen, macro-friendly eating can be tasty. Try the salmon. I'm really proud of that salmon. Yeah, I had I the salmon two, last night. It was bomb. I got two forks. I'm gonna eat with two hands. Mm. I'm proud of my salmon now. Bruh. I've tried a bunch of times with that. Alright, right, I gotta go eat. I'm on my way to the barbershop. I spent the first three hours of my day studying. As you guys know, I have enrolled into Dan Locke's High Ticket Closer program. And I honestly can't think of anything better I could have spent three hours of my morning on. Education is so important. And getting it, getting coaching and guidance from people who, are, who have achieved the things that you are trying to achieve is so important. So stay tuned. I'm going to be uh, doing a review on the program once I'm done. Ah, man, these streets are crucial. Uh, and it, it may be a good opportunity for a lot of people in my audience to have a side hustle that turns into something full-time. Everybody needs high-ticket closers. Everybody needs someone to get on the phone. Well, anyway, I'll share some more information about the program once I get a little bit deeper into it. I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. So I just got my hair cut. And I may have to find a new barber again. I don't know what it is. Listen, I got a bone to pick with us black folks. We got to do better about being on time. Personally, I feel so disrespected when when someone is late. Like, don't waste your time. Don't waste my time. I, for the life of me, cannot understand what's so hard about being a man of your word. If you say you're going to be somewhere at a certain time, be there. Comment below if you hate when people are late or if you are personally late give me some insight right for the people who are constantly late why is that what what's the challenge in that help me understand so i won't drive myself crazy like i feel disrespected i may be over exaggerating but it's time for me to find a new barber so i was this close from shaving my head bald but my cousin told me to try this remedy right with white rice fermented rice water put it in your hair and she's saying it's gonna grow my hair back so i'm in walmart right now about to pick up some rice some white rice because you won't find no white rice in my house and uh i'm gonna give this a try see look this ball spot right here i don't know if you can see it it has to go or else i'm shaving it all off i'm tired of it i'm tired of it peanut Say so what's up to the vlog. Hey vlog. They're in Niagara Falls. You guys are going to Canada today or not? Nah? We're already in Canada, but not. I thought Niagara Falls was in New York. What? What's it? Wait. Look. I'm gonna show the vlog the view. That's nice. Nah, they seen the view. I opened up the vlog with the view. All right, but I'm looking for um, a filter, a water filter. I'm gonna call you guys back. Okay. All right, love you. So this is one of my hacks for my sweet tooth and to keep me focused when, with nutrition is Tic Tac. So whenever I am uh, craving foods, instead of giving in right away, I normally pop some of these Tic Tacs, thank you. I normally pop some of these Tic Tacs in my mouth. Pause. 
and uh, it, it usually helps with the cravings. So, any zero calorie, zero sugar uh, candy will probably do the same thing. Try it out. Let me know what you think. Bruh, this looks like an absolute nightmare. Sheesh. You see why this space is clear? Why is that space That's clear? where Bravo's been laying the whole time, but I kind of <laughs> needed that. That's your spot, Bravo? Yeah, until you came. Look at that tail. I know. You want to sit for the people? No? Okay. Guess what? What? You're vlogging. Yeah. Okay. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Babe, why don't you go take a nap? Yeah. So I'm about to go for a five mile run. I, I'm still fasted right now. I wanna say 70% 70, 70 of the time I work out fasted. Today, I, I'm feeling a little tired and I, my body is just asking me for some food. And that's what I tell people all the time. You wanna pay attention to your body. What is your body telling you? You don't have to work out fasted. You can train your body to, to work out fasted. And most of the time, I work out 100% fasted without an issue. But when my body's telling me to give give it some food, I do that. So I'm going to uh, go for this run. And after the run, I'm going to explain to you guys how I learn to, to love running. Because I get asked that question a lot. Oh, that's my assistant. All right, I'll check you guys after the run. I get asked quite regularly about my running habit, so I figured I'd make a video addressing how I fell in love with running. I was not always in love with running. And a disclaimer, you don't have to run. If you don't enjoy running, I don't suggest you running at all. You don't have to do it. I happen to love being outdoors, and I also enjoy breaking up the monotony of being in the gym all the time. So running works for me. First, please, and I can't stress this enough, please invest into some really good running shoes. It's very, very important. It will prevent injury. Trust me, just wanted to start with that. Now. This is how I f fell in love with running. I started off by gamifying it. I'm a very competitive person, so I started to race myself. It started with just one mile. Initially, when I was overweight, my mile time was about 17 minutes, 18 minutes. So I wanted to slowly get that number down to whereas now I am I'm doing seven and a half minute miles. You know, if I'm running five miles, I can do seven minutes and 40 seconds, which is a very good time for me i'm not a runner runner but i'm very happy with that um so gamifying it that's one that's tip one gamify it turn it into some sort of challenge for yourself race against the clock uh join a runner's group download the nike app have your friends you guys all compete in how many miles you guys can put in every week these sort of things help make running more enjoyable Another tip, do it in intervals. So initially when I first started running, when I was still overweight, I would do one block, I would run, one block, I would walk. One block, I would run, one block, I would walk. This allowed me to not torture myself trying to push past the, you know, the pain. And uh, so slowly my endurance built and I was able to run a mile and then I was able to run two miles and so on and so forth but I really enjoyed building up to whereas now I can run seven or eight miles but it started off with just one mile at a time another way I fell in love with running 
is that my body loved it. My body responds so well to running and it really encouraged me to run more. It made it made the pain <laughs> that you typically experience with running not pain. It's just discomfort, especially if you're pushing. It made it more bearable. It made it more valuable. It made it more enjoyable because I knew in the morning I would wake up, my body would feel amazing and I would be leaner. That's another reason why I love running. And again, you don't have to love running. You don't have to run. But if it is your goal to start running, I would definitely add intervals. Make sure that you aren't killing your knees too much make sure that you're pacing yourself make sure you're building your endurance slowly i would definitely gamify it get your friends involved get a running partner join a running group but just start off slow and then also definitely you want to invest into some quality shoes all right first official meal of the day my one of my three go-to's which is avocado toast but the key, right? And this is a high fat diet. I'm, my body responds well to high fats. High fats, medium protein, medium carbs. I've learned that through years of experimenting. You gotta figure out which macro split works best for you. So this is a lot of fats, but the key to making this taste bomb, boom. Everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's, it is a game changer. Try it out. And that my friends is how I learned to love to run. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I have a phenomenal interview. I'm, I'm speaking this into existence right now. I'm about to interview a young lady who lost 90 pounds. Very inspirational story, so stay tuned for that. Uh, please, guys, leave the video a thumbs up. And as always, I'm trying to share the wellness. So get well and get money.